Well, I'm gonna show you the neighbor's house. So that's my house right there, I mean my camp. And then the neighbor's house is just right here. They live in this place. I haven't met them yet, but uh, hopefully I'm gonna, I'm gonna meet them tonight. But they have a little nice encampment, check it out. Hello, hello neighbor. No neighbor, where's my neighbor? I just wanted to come over and say hi to my neighbor. They live right here. There's Primo Paul. And that's one of my nephew's friends. Oh, there's my nephew right there. Right there, way out there in the kayak. They have life vests on, so it's okay. And my phone is on the ready in case anything. But they know better than to go out to, over the reef. So I'm gonna go on a little souvenir hunt and see what we find on these beaches. Because we have a lot of debris from the typhoon. Look at all this debris. Before the typhoon came, this is all white sand. All white sand all the way across. Now it's just ugly. Totally ugly. I don't like it. So I've been sick for the past several days. I'm just getting over it. I just got remnants of um, phlegma. Um, you want to see it? Oh. <laughs> you thought I was going to actually show it to you. That's gross. I mean, I ain't that gross. Kind of gross, but not that gross. So we are just about nearing the last pavilion before reaching Hagatnya. The village of Hagatnya, which is the capital. But look at the damage. That storm did. I don't know how it did that, but look, it's here. I don't know if the waves came in over this this uh, seawall or what, but it's sinking in. I'm trying to stay away from meat because I've been eating nothing but meat lately. My house don't believe in vegetables for some reason. My dad is just not a a vegetable eater he's more of a a meat eater so the house is like full of meat and that's all we eat is meat fast food and junk food like nothing healthy so once you reach that area right there you are in the village of Hagatnya so I'm gonna turn around right now and head back to the camp so I didn't find anything interesting and I was hoping to find some kind of souvenir, but those already have been all picked up by um, other people. I was Gunter Flores here. He's an ex-Marine Expeditionary Force in Iraq in 1991. He's gonna help me conquer that little island over there. I wanna christen it. It's called a Looping Island, but we're gonna change that name today. Okay, folks, so we're almost there. We got about another mile to get to that little island. So we're gonna bring that to you real quick. We're about there. Gunter's working hard to get us there. We have to avoid these rocks. Just, we have rocks right here that's pretty close. Oh, 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 whoa, we hit rocks. Okay, we need to back up. Well, we hit ground several times. And I don't want to ruin this kayak because I just got it. Okay, so we'll bring that to you when we get there. But here is that island right here. And let me clean the lens. Yeah. I've only seen a back through the flying a drone, but I've never actually been here or actually seen it back. So we're going to navigate between these rocks and bring that footage to you. Okay. Whoa, whoa, the waves, whoa, whoa. The waves are getting big out here. We are like right next to the reef right here. This is the rear of that island. 
We're gonna get up that stairs. See that stairs right there? That's where we're headed right there. We climb up that thing. Okay folks, so we are now here. We are the rear of this island. This is here. It's not even an island because it's so small. So I make a pick up that wood. Wow, that looks really dangerous. That looks really, really dangerous. Yeah, it looks kind of dangerous. Hmm. And then let's stay. And this is all rocks right here. Very dangerous. This is what you're going to fall on if you do fall. So I don't know if we should take that risk. But I'm going to feel it out first. And if it doesn't feel safe, then forget it. We decided not to climb the rope because it's really unstable. And um, while I was climbing, an, an, another another uh, step just fell apart. So they like, really deteriorated and too, way too dangerous. Now behind this island is the reef. Right there is the reef. And once you get over the reef, it drops like really deep. So we're going to make our way around. Really beautiful this island. Do the mansion right on top of this island. Has their own very island. So right now the water is low enough for us to trek. So we're just gonna do that because we scraped the heck out of this kayak. The bottom is like all scraped up. So it looks like this rock just recently fell off not too long ago. So it's really dangerous here because these rocks can just, just fall off anytime. So like, we have to be real careful. I don't think we should climb this one. It's really safe. Wow, we got a lot of velocities here. See cucumbers. They're a delicate thing to the Japanese. So this is the front of the island right here. And so we just made a complete circle around this island. We're gonna park this canoe. And we're gonna go for a little hike. We're gonna we're gonna get to the top. Whoa, a lot of rocks out here. A lot of rocks. Really rocky. Slippery rocks. Slimy rocks. We got algae on these rocks. Whoa, whoa, see so yeah, almost slipped. And it's wet because it's been raining. So you have to be careful climbing up this. Climbing up this rock. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, too much thorn bush in there. Need a machete to get in there. All I'm gonna get stabbed left and right. Look at these thorns. Look at that guy. These trees are all full of it. I don't got a machete. But I am not coming back here with the machete because I'm here already. Gunther, yeah. where are you at? So I'm just gonna have to break these things and make it pass. Because we are getting to the top of these islands. Woo! Tanguala, Tanguelo. Casina, not trespass. Wow, look how high this is. Whoa. Whew, here I go. Huh. Huh. Woo. Woo. Hey, Gunter, wave high. I'm way up here, folks. I'm at the highest point of this island. Or this islet. Oh, no. No, I take it back. This is the highest point right there above that rock. Now I can, uh, now I can really declare I've been really at the highest point of this island. Hereby declared conquer. Wow. Wow. Woo, boy. There, there I am. 
I'm at the highest point now. This is here by the highest point of this little tiny island. So I, Benny Cruz, hereby christen this tiny island as Sperm Island. I think that's a little too vulgar, so we're gonna tone it down. So I'm gonna change it. So I, Benny Cruz, hereby christen this island as Tadpole Island, also known as Sperm Island. There we go. Yep, I did it. I earned it. So come out here, folks. And whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, shit, these rocks are pokey. And you can declare yourself as conquering this island, too. You know, watch the steps, these rocks. Oh my God, they're really steppy. They're really sharp. Ugh, okay. Where's Gunther? I wish he didn't fall off. Man, I have to go through these thorn bushes again. These thorn bushes really slow you down. These are something you can't just rush into. Because you're going to get stabbed left and right. And they hurt. Just got thorns all over. I don't like them. Look at that. Look at all those thorns. Man, those things like really, really hurt. And they go deep too. You need to get rid of these thorn bushes. Oh shit! Something just popped right through my tatties. Look at that. You can just slide down here. As if you're not careful. I don't know if you can see how steep this is. But it's pretty, pretty steep. You can slide right through this and just pull right into those rocks in the bottom. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. So always take precautionary steps. Really steep, really steep. Real careful. Real careful. Really slippery. I don't trust this rock. It looks like it did just break off. Look at that. That's human litter right there. Littering. On a prestigious island like this. Or a, oh shit, that's that's Gunter. I'm sorry, I take that back. I take that back. Gunter accidentally dropped it. You didn't mean it. Okay, and we are out. Woo! Yes, we are out. I have gotta head back now.
forces. Wants the state your trooper about a male subject that. This is my pad. I, I just came out here one day and just hauled everything out, had some people help me. And I just took over like a motherfucking boss. <laughs> I said, this is my land, you know, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take you for a tour, okay? Look at my, the side of my yard. My God, look at that. White powdery sand, nice and packed. See, I want me to show my, my footprints because it's nice and packed, like I said. You weren't listening. And here's my backyard, look at that. Oh my God, so nice powdery white sand Woo. look at that look at that there's my kayak I love this kayak it's like really good it's like you know I thought it was gonna be hard right but I was going against the current and this guy was like moving pretty fast there's a lot of jackets you gotta make sure the, the kids wear that when they go out there in the kayak always and keep an eye on them Cause at that age you get crazy like me. When I was young, um, we had a, a inflatable. It was a pretty big one, and, uh, and it was like four of us in there, and I was I was I was like trying to paddle out to the reef, right? But the guy that was watching us was like one of my dad's uh, worker, and uh, <laughs> he started swimming out to the water because he didn't trust me. He didn't trust me. He started swimming out the water and he, he caught us and he pulled us in. I was like, fuck, we didn't make it. I was trying to swim over the reef, you know? I wanted to go explore what the fuck was over there, why they, why they don't want me to go over there. <laughs> yeah, that was me, I was a naughty one. He's like, don't go out to the reef. And you're like, why? <laughs> I'm gonna go find out why they don't want me to go out to the reef. <laughs> yeah, don't be like me, please, please. I, I scare myself sometimes. Whenever I look into her eyes, she give me little butterflies. And every time she come around, I can't help myself. I be trying to catch her vibe, cause baby, you're away. I'm just trying to get lost in your ocean. You got energy my way. And I'ma give you all the love, my devotion. Can you hear me now? I'll be waiting in the water to look at you. Got me out here in the deep and there's nothing left to say. There's nothing left to say.